it, cer it certainly sounded strong, and you specifically pointed out Asia. And I wonder if you can characterize sort of the rebound we're seeing there. Sure. Um, Carl, great to be with you. Thanks for having me. Um, we've seen a remarkable recovery uh, as soon as the, um, the national government in China released the um, COVID restrictions. Uh, the Chinese population got on the road. And um, it's, it's been very interesting to see the profile of it. So in greater China, um, we are a little off of 2019 levels, maybe 4% uh, below that. But in mainland China, we're 10% ahead of 2019 levels. And that's with a 60% decline in inbound international travel into China, and, a, and that's made up, more than made up for, by a 30% increase in domestic travel. Um, so these are Chinese citizens traveling within China. So it's been quite a remarkable uh, and fast recovery. You've uh, made a point in recent quarters to talk about your differentiated model. And I wonder if you're uh, expecting weakness in the back half of the year or in 24 and, and how that's going to shift the, uh, the priority you give to various brands. No, I, you know, our, our strategy has been really focused on uh, the high-end traveler, and we have durability in their choices to get on the road, especially in leisure. So leisure has led this recovery, and we're well-positioned to do that. Um, and so, no, we think that uh, we'll see our, uh, our progression in REPAR in the first half to be in the mid to high 20s uh, percent increase over last year. And uh, mid to high single digits in the, in the second half of last year were lapping some pretty strong results in the third and fourth quarter of last year. We just reported our fourth consecutive record quarter. So we, um, we're, we are lapping some stronger results in the latter half of the year, but we see growth still. There have been some comments from uh, some of your peers in the lodging space that uh, obviously uh, any kind of credit tightening and certainly the, the – uh, the moves that the Fed has taken so far is going to have an impact. And I wonder, to the degree you're looking for incremental softness, where you're going to find that? Well, you know, we have a, a record pipeline for future growth, 117,000 rooms in our pipeline. And um, we've had roughly the same number, the same proportion of properties under construction for the last several quarters, which has been approaching 40 percent of the total. Um, 20 percent of, of those hotels that are under construction are in the U.S., uh, so the, the credit tightening actually affects new starts, new development starts. Um, but, you know, the other thing that's true is that supply growth has remained relatively low over the last several years. And so as a consequence of that, more developers are realizing they better get to work. So they're getting more creative about how they can raise capital. They're over-equitizing certain projects. And so um, I do think that it will make a difference once confidence is restored in regional and local banks. That's really where a lot of the financing comes from for the types of hotels that we have in our pipeline. Yeah, I mean, when we talk about more of a macro picture, when we talk about inflation and, and sticky services inflation, one of those places has been within uh, travel pricing uh, and the fact that that has remained elevated. So I wonder what your outlook is uh, for pricing, especially as that capacity, that increased capacity does begin to come online. Yeah, so what we've seen is um, our resorts, which performed extremely well in 2022, continue to post um, rate increases in spite of the fact that leisure trips have now extended to other hotels, non-resort hotels in our portfolio. So even as total demand for leisure trips has increased, now, now you're seeing more urban um, purposes of visit of, of leisure into urban hotels and so forth, our resorts maintain and have grown their rate realization. And in our group business, which is a significant part, 25 to 30 percent of our total revenue base, we're seeing currently uh, businesses currently being booked right now at a higher level than um, is on the books for the re remainder of this year. So, so huh. pricing is actually firm. And, um, and we're really encouraged to see that. Yeah, corporate uh, is going to be, well, we'll talk more about that next time, I imagine. Also, the way the work week has evolved has gotten interesting for lodging as well. But, Mark, appreciate the guidance on the quarter. Good to see you. Great to see you, too. Thanks. Thanks.